Mr. Butter and Tabby walk the dog. One, the lolly pup. Mr. Butter and his fine cat Tabby lived next door to Mrs. T. Barry and her small dog Zeki. Mrs. T. Barry sometimes gave Mr. Butter eggplant for his supper, and Mr. Butter sometimes gave. Mrs. T. Barry, kiwis for her lunch. They were very happy living side by side. One day, Mrs. T. Barry slipped on a kiwi and hurt her foot. Mr. Pooter and Tabby took her to the doctor. The doctor said. This food needs a rest. No walking, Zeki, for a week. No walking, Zeki, for a week! Cried Mrs. T. Barry. But who will walk my little lollipop? She always called Zeki her little lollipop. Then Mr. Butter. Who had a very soft heart said, "I will, I will walk your little lollipop." Mrs. T. Barry was happy, but she was a little worried. "I hope he doesn't tug," she said. "Oh no," said Mr. Pooter. "Zeki won't tug." I hope he doesn't wrap around trees," she said. "Oh no," said Mr. Butter again. "Zeki won't wrap." And I hope he doesn't chase other dogs," she said finally, "especially the big ones." "Oh no." Said Mr. Butter for the last time, "Zeki is a good dog. Zeki is a fine dog." Mr. Butter looked at the little lollipop. "Zeki is a dream dog," Mr. Butter said, with a smile. Two, the nightmare. Zeki was a nightmare. The first day Mr. Pooter and Tabby took him for a walk, he tugged, he tugged and tugged and tugged. He tugged Mr. Pooter and Tabby through yards and creeks and houses they had never been through before. When Mr. Pooter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and pudding, and a nap. Zeki is not a dream dog," Mr. Pooter said to Tabby when they woke up. "Zeki is a nightmare." The second day, they took him for a walk. Zeki wrapped around trees. He wrapped around an elm tree. He wrapped around a pine tree. He wrapped around a pear tree. And he always wrapped Mr. Butter and Tabby with him. When Mr. Butter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk. And popovers, and a nap. Zeki is not a dream dog, Mr. Pooter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeki is a nightmare. The third day, Zeki chased dogs. 
and he didn't chase little ones. He chased big ones. He chased a Russian wolfhound. He chased a Great Dane. He chased a Saint Bernard. He chased them until they got bored with being chased. Then they turned around and chased Zeki and Mr. Putter and Tabby. The big dogs chased them through yards and creeks and houses they had never been through before. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and shortbread and a nap. Zeki is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeki is a nightmare, and the two of them sat a long time wondering what to do. They weren't sure they could live through four more days with a lollipop. Three, the dream dog. Here's the deal, Zeki," Mr. Putter said on the fourth day. "You be a good dog, and every day after our walk, you will get a nice surprise." Zeki was a smart dog. He knew what a deal was. The fourth day, he didn't tug. He didn't rap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the frosty freeze. Zeki had a hot fudge sundae with extra cherries. The fifth day, Zeki didn't tug, and he didn't rap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog again. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the swimming pool. He jumped off the diving board fifteen times. On the sixth day, Zeki was a dream dog, and he went to the carnival. On the seventh day, Zeki was a dream dog, and he went to the zoo. When Mr. Putter and Tabby took Zeki home for the last time, Mrs. T. Berry asked, "Was Zeki a good lollipop?" And Mr. Putter, who had brought her pecans instead of kiwis, smiled the biggest smile. He said. Zeki was a dream lollipop. Then he and Tabby said goodbye and went home and had a party.